Hey guys, um, we're going to go over how to take off a SRAM dub crank, okay? It, it takes a lot of force to get these off, uh, but we're going to go over a couple tricks that I've kind of come up with to make this a lot easier. Okay, so first thing you're going to need is you're going to need to make sure this cap is good and snug, but we're going to loosen it up to get some grease underneath here. The problem is, is that this is the extractor cap and the bolt, the extractor bolt that's underneath here gets, uh, if there's no lubrication here, it gets very tight. And so you'll hear that popping noise uh, when you're trying to actually extract the, the, extract the crank because that's just rubbing up against this cap. Okay, so the bolt's going to come out and it's going to push on this cap. Um, and then the force between those two surfaces, if you don't have a lubrication there, which most people don't, uh, it's going to cause that popping noise. So you're going to need uh, one of these pin spanners, adjustable pin spanner, uh, to take the, loosen up that cap. And then what we're going to also need is a breaker bar and an eight millimeter socket. And this is going to give us the leverage we need because this has about 50, 55 I think it's 55 Newton meters of force. It's probably the, the tightest um, of all the, or the most amount of torque we're gonna have to actually exert. So a nice 18 inch breaker bar is gonna give us the leverage we need, make the job a lot easier, we'll have a lot more control, less chance of slipping too. All right, so first thing, oh, and we also need a little bit of grease gun uh, to get the grease in between the bolt and the cap, okay? Also, when you're riding, just, you know, we want to also make sure this bolt, this cap is tight. It does tend to loosen up because it's getting all the vibrations there. Uh, a little bit of Loctite uh, around the end or around the threads before uh, going back out to the trail would be a good idea. So you don't lose this thing. if have lost one before um, and they are a little bit of a pain to place. Okay, so anyway, so let's get started. So let's get our pin spanner out. And the other thing you have to realize is, is that this is a reverse thread. The cap is reverse thread. The bolt is is regular thread, I guess you could say. So you wanna to try to get these in, and you wanna to try to hold the pins in place so they don't pop out. And then you're gonna go, remember, you're gonna go reverse, so it's gonna be clockwise to loosen this up. Okay. All right, and then give it a couple turns. And I've already got plenty of grease in there because I've already done this before, but what I would do is I would get a little bit more grease between that little space all the way around. Try to get it down in there. Now, you are going to want to tighten that cap back up. So remember, it's going to be reverse thread. So I'm going to go counterclockwise to tighten that back up. This is going to eliminate all of that popping. Make sure you get that. Oops. Let's get that just a tad bit tighter. I like it tight because you want. All right. Oh, tight enough. Okay. So once you've got now, we loosened up our cap. We put our grease underneath there and we are ready to go okay so remember now the bolt is regular thread so you want to go counterclockwise to loosen or to extract this crank off so as i'm going counterclockwise the bolt's going to be coming out um, of the spindle and it's going to push it's going to push enough uh force to to uh basically separate the crank from the spindle. So again, you want to get good leverage. So you want to have it in a good position so you can hold on to the other crank while pushing down on this crank. Okay, so you have to figure out what that sometimes entails. So I'm going to start doing that. So I'm holding this and you can see with my breaker bar, I don't have to do too much force. No popping. There we go. Okay. So now it's released off of there, of the main part of that spindle. 
but you are going to feel pressure as it's, it's still not fully off the spindle. So you can still feel pressure, that's normal. So keep going with your breaker bar and you will feel getting past that middle section. And so once you're past that, you're pretty much good to go, pretty much. So now it's just easy. Just finish turning until that bolt is completely out. You can even take off your, uh, your Allen key, Allen bit, I should say. And then just be careful on the end. I should probably support that just because you don't want the ends spinning. Knocked off there. So you can see there is the place in the crank where this was on the spindle or pressed onto the spindle there of your crank or of your other side of your crank. And there's my extractor bolt. I can take that out if I take this cap completely off and get the cap out. That's what that is, just the cap and the spindle bolt, bolt and that's really what, what it works for. Now, when you do put this back on, you are going to want a large torque wrench, okay, capable of at least 55 newtons of force. So you're going to want a larger one. This one was really good. I've gotten this off of the internet. This is the Pro Bike Tool. And it's from the it's from 10 newton meters up to 60 newton meters so it's going to cover everything that well not cover everything it's going to cover the large things on your bike you're also going to want to get the smaller version uh, that goes from 2 to 20 newton meters um, and they're all good priced um, and so that's you are going to want to do that before putting your cranks back on okay so this is basically how to get your crank off and oh one thing we want to get the other side off might as well do that almost forgot so we're gonna want a plastic um mallet hammer or whatever it is it's early in the morning so and lightly tap and you also have a spacer here so you don't want to lose that sometimes that's really stuck on there although there's your spacer that's a 4.5 milliliter spacer. Really impossible to find single versions of this. So you gotta buy a whole kit if you lose this. Uh, so don't lose it. Okay, so put it off to the side. And then now you can tap gently. And that's gonna come out. Be a little bit of tension on the other side. You have to just get through and voila. So this is the other side of your crank and you can see how oh, there goes my spacer how they are going to fit together when they get pressed back in and so that's going to be on your bike there and ugh, we'll go over how to do that later in another video okay so all right so this is my video on how to remove your crank your shram cranks on a dub bottom bracket crank setup okay all right hope you liked this video if you did like it and consider subscribing i'm going to go over how to get pretty much everything off the